everyone so i am back again to set up my new cover i haven't taken out the plastic i don't really do unboxings but i figured it'd be cool because it may not work out <laughs> and then you can see it so i got this supposed to be brown leather cover for my a5 strategy so i had had this is my other a5 strategy which if you're seeing this video then you know i prematurely swapped out of this and i moved into a new one because i just messed up the layout i really wasn't liking it but anyways long story short here we are in here this i i moved this into one here sorry so i really liked how simple this plastic cover was but we all know that uh, i'm like uh, planner bougie so i needed more than a um, simple plastic cover. I wanted something leather, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I got this cover. I will have a link for this cover um, in the uh, description, but I think it was like $34. So we're gonna be moving out of this one, my A5 Moterm, which is a little bulky and truthfully, I don't use these pockets very much. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I do use this back pocket a lot. But actually, no, not really, because the only thing that's in there right now are my papers for my taxes. So, after tax season, I won't even need all that anymore. So, let's open it up. And again, the link is gonna be in the description. I got it from Amazon. Very concerned about how it may or may not smell. They packaged it up really good though. Because this was the only packaging other than the Amazon package. But it also could be the reason why it's not it was not as expensive because you didn't have that expensive you know packaging all right so it's very soft i love the way it feels okay calm down you're getting too hype i love it i love it and i mean i have bought expensive covers before but my main reason for going this route was cost effectiveness because this is cheaper than a lot of the more expensive covers I like like Chic Sparrow and um Bassy and Co. Bassy and Co is my favorite but this was 35 you know a Bassy and Co cover would cost me double that however it would be worth every nickel but yeah so I just got this one and I've been riding tough with my A5 for a minute so I will likely stick it out so, oh no. But let's try to go ahead and stick this in. Let's stick these things in. And let's see if all of these things that I have in here, like these extra notebooks, that I'm not writing in, ain't nothing in them but sticky notes. I don't know if it'll actually fit. Like, I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Am I regretting this? Uh, this here totally am i gonna try to change it out totally i'm gonna end up peeling that up and changing this because obviously that is going to clash with this beautiful brown again let's make sure we're in focus because you know i love to go out of focus all right there we go sorry if it's moving a lot y'all know my setup is janky all right let's get this in here first and let's just see how the notebook itself fits so this is meant for a hardcover um Lordstrom Lordstrom A5 so I felt like if it was supposed to fit that there's no reason it shouldn't fit my stylogy which I think is a little smaller uh, I already love the way that feels in there all right, let's tuck in the extra notebooks and things and see how they're gonna, how they're gonna perform. Alrighty. 
and I had these two, which is one supposed to be for my, like just a quick business notebook jotter and the other one's supposed to be my collections. Sorry, I'm sniffling still. I definitely still have the sniffles. It's not, I'm doing something wrong, I think. I gotta be doing something wrong. You see, this is why I don't be <laughs> doing things on camera. Cause, or I'm not doing things wrong. Oh, see, I was doing something wrong. All right, so that fits in there. This one don't have a use yet. It's just in here for some random use that I'm sure I will come up with. Okay, yeah, I definitely was doing something wrong. Because that is all fitting. Let's see if I'll be able to tuck these things in the back. All right. So far, so far. Where did I put the... Bruh. Y'all, I'm losing it. I took this out. <laughs> there it is. I'm like, I took this out of something. Where is the something? Okay, I found it. And this is the, oh wait, I got something else in here. Don't I? Yeah, I got this that I don't use either, but who knows? I may likely use it. So I had this in my other book to make it a bit sturdier, but that ain't gonna fit because it's too long, which is fine. I know that this is gonna fit back there. And the most important thing, folks, is my pen. Is my pen gonna fit? Probably need to work it a little bit more, but yeah, it fits. And my handy dandy Ollie clip. Look at that. I love that. I love this rustic feeling and look to this. Like, it is gorgeous, baby. Yeah, everything fits in there. Um, like I said, the things in the back that are temporary for taxes, these are in here, but I don't really use them. They're more for, like, looking at stuff. But, Junior. Junior, no, no, no. Don't do this. Go ahead. Junior, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Anywho. Um, yeah, so I don't really use these very often. But I was thinking um, maybe I'll make a... Uh, I, uh, like this, I probably can make a smaller version of this to tuck in here with like a little clear pocket. So if I do need to add some things, I'll just tuck it in there. Whenever I do that, you know, I'll show on film. But here is my new cover, y'all. I love it. Love it. Can't think of where it's from or anything. But again, the link will be in the description so you'll be able to see it. And yes, I love it so much. Hey, y'all. So I am back with a little update. In the same video, because I realized it's been a few days and I've already got a couple of scuffs on it. But I realized that I never, like, opened it up and showed you how nice it was. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before that my camera is a little janky. So this is as far out as I can zoom, unfortunately. But I wanted you to just kind of see, like, it's a very flat. Like, obviously, my notebook opens up pretty flat. But the actual notebook itself, like, the cover is very flat. It's not bulky at all. It's very compact and slim. And I have like extra notebooks in there. And it's still very compact. I even made my kids hold it because I'm weird like that. And I think they kind of like it. <laughs> so I also wanted to show you all my, um, my dividers. So in my Etsy shop, I have some um, notebook dividers, which is um, what you see here, these top three tab ones, as well as um, an inbox. Now, you can tip this in, 
like you can tape it in i'm not taping it in right now i will eventually because i kind of want to decorate this page and then i'm going to tip this in here this is going to be like my brain dump notebook but yeah i'm going to tip that in and then i think i want to decorate this too like i really don't want this brown i'm just brown <laughs> this navy blue but i like these dividers because i like sections obviously but i want to be in a notebook so i needed a solution <laughs> to be able to quickly find my sections but also too um i've been tearing up my pages with sticky notes so um when i am ready to pre-plan for like april i put my sticky notes here versus my paper because i've been ripping up my paper and sorry if you guys hear my smoke detector i'm definitely gonna have to get those batteries changed today so this is my monthly tab this is my weekly tab we're gonna talk about in next week's plan with me this weekly y'all because i'm not using it i am really a daily planner like i'm a daily planner but anyways that's another video for another day this is the um daily tab here um, I do still have a sticky note up here because I'm not putting another tab in for my weekly review. But other than that, I kind of want to keep my sticky notes off my paper. And then back here in my um, business notebook, I do still have sticky notes there. But I have sticky notes up here too for my content notebook or whatever there. But yeah, I really like them. They're available in the shop in all different notebook sizes. I think I got like a5 b6 b6 slim and a6 if there's another size that i'm missing somebody let me know but yeah in there <clears throat> they are a5 size however they're not they're just just so slightly shorter than your standard ring binder size because if it were the same ring binder size it would overhang out of the notebook and that's not what we want so yeah, it's just a little shorter. But I'm really loving this cover. I'm really loving the way it it feels. I really am I'm past the pocket deco. Like I just don't need the pocket deco no more. So that was one of the reasons I came out of my mold term and into this. And it was like $33. It's holy leather. And I have some things in there. So it was actually made for a Lordstrom A5. So that's why this is here. Because you can pull your little string out and you can keep your notebook closed. If you are using that type of notebook, which obviously I'm not. So it's just back there. And I got like my stickers that will be coming to my shop soon. Just waiting on uh, my new printer. But yeah, that is... um. Yeah, that's it. That's what we got over here. So I'm really, really liking this cover. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Give me some feedback in the comments. And until next time, happy planning. I'll holla. Bye.